Hey guys, my wife has a birthday coming up next week, so I wanted to print her up something. And Chuck uh, just recently printed up a K cup coffee uh, holder, um, a stand for the K cups for the Keurig coffee maker. And my wife's got a Keurig, and she loves purple, so <laughs> I figure I'll go ahead and print her up a, a, a K cup holder. Now. This is going to be my second attempt. The first one I did, which I'll uh, I'll uh, show I'll show it a little bit later what what I printed. It printed really good all the way up to about the top, I would say inch and a half, or what, thirty or about uh, twenty millimeters <laughs> at the very top of it. It shifted. It was completely maxed out on on this G Tech. I believe it was up to 175 millimeters, which was just a little bit too high for it. Um, remember, I put a 50 millimeter throat on my extruder back uh, when I redid it last time, and so I lost a lot of my height. Plus, where the knob sticks out on the front of the G Tech, um, where the control board is, that also interferes with the the actual height that it can actually go up to. So what ended up happening is whenever it was printing, this got hung up on one of the little bolts on the front of the frame, and it made it lose its position. It wasn't uh, wasn't where it was supposed to be anymore. So it shifted everything over a little bit at the very top of the, the print. So what I'm going to do is I went ahead and I went into Tinkercad, I split the model up, and I've got it so I, I should have it sized pretty good to where I can take the top portion of it and glue it into the base. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and print up the parts now and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I've got both pieces printed. I have the base here. I have the top here. And what I did is I took this finishing tool, um, went around the bevel edge here, the bevel edge on this side, and then also around uh, this front piece. So that allowed it where it'll actually fit in there about right, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to fit in there just about right. So what I need to do now is just glue it. 
So I'm going to take up, i got a little bit of glue here. There we go. Sorry if I sound a little bit hoarse, I just got back from a concert. <laughs> they had a, over in Hollister they have this, uh, they call it Pepper Tree Ranch, but it's, I uh, uh, forget the name of the seller, but the, go to HollisterConcerts.com and they have a list of different concerts they have, like maybe once a month they have concerts. And it's a pretty cool place to go. See, so I'm just gonna put a few drops down through here. That should work. Yeah, so I got yelling and everything else over there, so <laughs> I got a little bit hoarse. <laughs> Let's see. Touching the glue. It looks like it's starting to grab. I think. Not quite. Somehow it's not sitting completely flush, which is all right. I you know what I'll do. I'll put it right here on this front edge. Just right along here. That should work. There, it slid in. That felt better. Put a little bit of pressure on it. Yep, it's grabbing now. Cool. Let that set up. I'll pull the this off the bed afterward. It's no big deal. Okay, so the glue has set up pretty good, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I notice the corner of it's peeled up just a hair off the glass bed. And that gives me a good spot to start working. Get the spatula in there. I love this spatula, it's really come in handy. There it is. Let's wash off the glue a little bit. Let's see. Grab the K cup, see how that fits. Perfect. That will do the job. I want to thank Chuck for letting me borrow the model. I uh, contacted him before I printed it up and he gave me permission to go ahead and use it. So, Chuck, thank you very much for letting me use the model. It was a great model. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to, to do some adjustments on it. <laughs> But it worked out for the best. I think it printed out a lot nicer. A whole lot better than what this this came out. Uh, you can see where it printed up so high and then shifted over about the last 13 millimeters of it. So anyway, that's that's going to turn out good. And uh, my wife's birthday is next Tuesday. I'll have this ready for her. She kind of knows about it. <laughs> So I already told her I was, I was fixing up something for her on the printer. I don't know if she got in here to see what I made for her yet or not. <laughs> anyway, I'll get that all set up for her. Well, thank you very much, Chuck. And I want to thank all of you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.